See, women aren't stupid. We know that male dancers, you know, are probably don't like us, you know, like, duh. We don't care, because women are pragmatic. We just want to look at him, you know, sniff him a little bit, grope his hiney, and give him a hundred bucks, you know? We don't, we, we don't think we're gonna actually date him, you know? You know, that's stupid, you know? No, that's true, because it's just fun, you know? You always have like the nasty Thea that shows up with like a bag of dildos, like, hey, let's party, you know? Because bridal showers are nasty, you know? And, and it's good for you guys, because it gets a woman randy, you know, she gets horny, she gets, because there's some guy that will show up at about three in the afternoon, you know, <clears throat> named Felix, and um, <laughs> yeah, and he'll be in like a cop uniform, you know, and he'll ring the doorbell, be like, ding, ding, you know, and the, and the bride-to-be, you know, she's wearing like a penis hat and, you know, a little <laughs> rubber neck, yeah, oh yeah, a little dicky necklace, you know, she'll be like, hi, and be like, is your name April, she'll be like, like that, you know? You know, because she knows what's gonna happen, you know? And then he like hits the button, pow, and starts, whoa, and there's Velcro and everything. And then, and then, yeah, and then and this like whack, 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 like that. And and here's what happens: the young women act a little bit shame, you know, like, oh god, you know, but the grandmother of the bride is up on Felix's back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's riding him like the Kentucky Derby, you know, and the mama's making like like change of a 20 in his crack, you know, they're they're taking advantage. And um and, and the thing is, like, and, and then your woman's going to get home, and, and she's going to be grateful for Felix the big <laughs> you know? Because she's going to come home moist as a bunt cake after that, <laughs> yeah, after that dance. And she's going to do you like she hasn't done you since you were dealing reefer. She's going to really, she's going to turn it out, you know? Because, and be grateful. And, and, and I, again, I, I don't like to say stereotypes, but a lot of male dan the vast majority of male dancers are gay, in case you did not know that. Because straight men wouldn't have the stick to itiveness to do what it takes to be a male dancer. You gotta be buff and tan, you know, and have, yeah, you do, you know? And you gotta dance all sexually and unselfconsciously, you know, in front of women you don't even know. And, um, yeah, and then you have to have a friend named Jeffrey with a G-E-O, that kind of Jeffrey, like Joffrey, you know that Jeffrey? He's, yeah, there's different Jeffreys. Jeff with a J, and names are important, pay attention. So Joffrey with a G-E-O has to go with a razor where uh, you gotta have a good friend go, you know, because, uh, yeah, because these guys, they wear some little get-ups, and when you're dancing around, you know what I mean. When you're dancing around in a thong, you know, to live in La Vida Loca or whatever your song is, you know, because they've got numbers and everything, you don't want to look like you're smuggling tribbles off the Starship Enterprise.